YouTube, what it do, baby. Um, hopefully everybody's having an amazing day or night. Um, but anyway, we're going to get right to it today in this video. It's going to be a shorter video just so we can get straight to the point. Now, uh, while I was at work, they updated or they released the Gunsmith Customs here in Cold War. And what this allows you to do is create basically all these weapon variants that you have for a weapon and then you can, can mash them up and do whatever attachments you want from other like blueprints so um i think it's really cool how they did this uh and they did release this at like 1 p.m i believe then they had to take it out of the game because there's bugs with it so i think they put it back into the game around 6 p.m if i'm not mistaken so i'm gonna show you guys how to do this if you want your weapons to look like this obviously you can do it for any weapon but i'm gonna show you guys the krig 6 here today in the video so let's jump into it man so the first thing you want to do is you want to select your overall uh blueprint you want to select the blueprint that you want to use i ended up choosing the ice strike because obviously this, this is one of the best variants in the game um i could have chose the gargoyle which also would look good with the ice strike attachments in the blue barrel the golden blue barrel lots of things you can do um samurai's creed this could also look very well with some of the attachments then you have the this one i don't even want to worry i'm not worried about that one that one's disgusting so anyway man we choose this ice strike so right here as you can see this is the normal ice strike which is a very clean weapon okay very clean weapon so let's start adding other attachments man or add, adding other blueprint attachments so the first thing i did was put gunsmith on so i could have eight or yeah i think it's gunsmith or sorry i put gunfighter on so i can have eight attachments so i can max this thing out with a whole bunch of different attachments okay and so the first thing you want to do for the optic this has no optic uh this weapon um as you can see right there no optic on this weapon so i'm gonna go ahead and add an optic and it's, as you can see on my screen the only optic i have with a different uh, a blueprint to it I have the axial arms uh, three times scope. Uh, so as you can see next to a letter, number two, I have two variant or two blueprint versions of this. Okay, so I have th this nasty looking one. Then I have the Samurai's Creed, which is a gold look. I thought it was pretty cool. Obviously, this is not a best class setup. I'm just trying to make my gun look crazy as possible. Okay, then if you go down to the muzzle right here, you have a suppressor, you have one, you can choose whatever you want. See, that literally didn't change blueprint to blueprint. Didn't change at all. Infantry as the gargoyle one, that's pretty clean. Uh, that black little barrel right there. I know my face cam is pretty much covering that up. Then you have the Ice Drake SOCOM Eliminator, which is cool. So I'm going to throw on this Agency Suppressor in the Samurai uh, Creed. So we got the gold and then we got the blue barrel. So pretty neat right there, guys. Then you go down to barrel. As you can see, I have different attachments. Uh, I'm, you guys get the point right now. I'm going to put on the Gargoyle um, barrel. So you guys can see it's kind of got that bronze look to it as well, with a little bit of gold to it. So it's pretty neat so far. So then you just do the same thing all the way down. I only have one laser, which is the gargoyle. I'll throw that on there. Nothing too crazy about that. For the underbarrel, I have two Samurai's Creed. Pretty neat little underbarrel. Then I have the um, util utilitarian. I can't ever say that word correctly. Uh, but I don't like that one. So we're going to go with the Samurai's Creed right here. Throw that bad boy on there. Then we'll go down to Magazine. So as you can tell, we have this. It doesn't change at all. Then we have the Ice Drake mag, which is really clean. And then we have a Gargoyle mag, which is gold. But I, pref I prefer the... Uh, the ice drake magazine I, th I just think it looks better that blue and that animation to it so then you go down to handle i have one handle which is the ice drake so obviously i'm going to keep that then we have stock and we have the raider stock and we have three of them right here so nothing crazy that one's decent and then we have that one which gargoyle is pretty cool but i'm going to go up to sas combat stock and throw on the samurai's creed so i have this look to it then basically what it ends up doing is looking like that man so let me know what you guys think about this. Um, rewind the video if you guys were, uh, if you have any questions, actually, just put it in the comment section. I'll try to help you guys out or if you're missing something. So I'm going to take a look at camo. This is the first time I'm doing it. I haven't tried this before, so this would be interesting. So if you go to mastery, you got gold. Um, well, you can't really, sh I can equip gold and that's what gold looks like right here. Oh, it doesn't show it because it's a mastercraft. That's sad. So let me hide my face cam uh, really quick um, so you guys can see. Um, there we go. So there is gold for you guys. I know it's hard to tell right there, but that is gold camo and that is diamond. So the diamond covers a lot of the weapon. Uh, gold looks pretty clean, not going to lie, but it does, does change the suppressor for some reason. So you guys are going to have to play with this and there's the normal version right there. Uh, but let me know what you guys think about this and if you guys are going to try this out on your weapons. But anyway, man, that is the video for today. That is the gunsmith customs here in Cold War. Let me know if you guys enjoy it, man. Smash that like, hit the subscribe button down below. I'd appreciate it and I'll Catch y'all in the next one. Peace.